Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete PowerPoint tutorial. I will be showing you everything that you need to know about PowerPoint, from how to choose the perfect template for your presentation, how you can use all of the tools inside of PowerPoint, so how you can add text, how you can add images, overall how you can customize your presentation. And I am also going to show you how we can add in different transitions and effects to take your PowerPoint to the next level. Essentially, all you have to do is follow along with this tutorial and you will work away as a PowerPoint expert. This is Microsoft PowerPoint and as soon as you load into PowerPoint this is the screen that you will be taken to. Right at the top here we can see a bunch of themes that we can choose from for our presentation. We will get into that in a second but just beneath this this is where you are going to see all of your recent presentations so that you can access them at a later date. But let's go into the see more themes section and in here, you can see all of the themes that are available with Microsoft PowerPoint. So right here, we have a minimalist cell pitch. We can click on create right here and we can see what this PowerPoint is about. So right here, they are essentially going to give us this entire template and these templates make it extremely easy if this is a template that you want to go for. For example, all we would have to do if we want to actually use this template is we can just click on the text and we can start making some changes here. So I can click on this and change this to GeForce North. Then we can go down to the next one. And in here, we can just go ahead and change all of this text. So using these templates makes it extremely quick and easy to build a presentation as all you really have to do is change the text. Maybe we can go in here and change some of these images. And overall, if you want to cut down on your time, then you can definitely use one of these presentations. However, let's now go back and create a completely blank presentation as I'm going to show you all of the tools and all of the features that we can use inside of PowerPoint. So when we get taken over to a blank presentation, this is the screen that we are going to be taken to. This left hand side is going to show you all of the slides that make up your PowerPoint. This middle section is the main editing screen and this is how we can make changes to the PowerPoint. And over on the right hand side, as soon as we load in, we can see this designer section where we can choose how we want the presentation to look. Let's leave this for now and just focus on the main presentation. So this is the first slide. This is going to be our title slide. What we can do is we can just go in here and start typing things out with the text boxes that it has given. Or alternatively, we can go over to this left hand control panel, right click on this and then go down to the slide layout. Here we can choose the layout of the slide and how this is going to look. For example, if we wanted this to be split into two different sections, we can select this and it's now going to give us a completely different layout to this slide. However, let's go back, back into slide layout and change this back to a title slide. And in here, I'm now going to choose the title for my presentation. Now, this presentation is going to be on the United States. So let's type this in. And then we can add a subtitle right here. And I'm just going to say by GeForce North. Now, this is why I wanted to wait to use the designer section, because in this designer section right here, and if you don't see this, then just make sure you are in the home tab, click on designer, and it's going to generate us some design ideas using the text that we have put into this presentation. So right here, we can see in the designer, we have all of these different design slides. Some of them are definitely more fitting than others, than others like this one is fantastic but it's basically going to use the text to generate us some designs. So we could select this design, for example, and that design is going to be dropped in. This looks absolutely fantastic. And it took me like two seconds of work. Alternatively, if you don't like any of these slides that show up under the designer, well, we can go down and click on see more design ideas. And this is going to generate in some more. So we could even go for this one right here with the Statue of Liberty. And then if you want to see more, we can go down and click on more design ideas. Up along this top bar, this is where we can make all of the changes to the text that we want to make. So for example, I can click into my text right here that says United States. And as you can see, this top line has now become active. So in here, we can change the font style. So we can change the font. I can click on this drop down menu and then we can choose from any of these fonts. I'm going to go for this one. Baskerville Old Face. So we can click on this and that font is now going to be changed. We can also change the font size right here, whether we want to make the font smaller or bigger. Let's set this to 44. That looks a lot better. We can also choose to make the font bold 
underlined and italicized. And then if you want to deselect any of these, for example, let's deselect italicize and underline and leave bold. We can now see that this is bold because it has this square around the bold button showing that this is active. We can also change the font color. So right here, we can click on this drop down menu and we can choose from any of these colors. If I want to change the color to red, I just select this. And as you can see, my font is now red. So let's just go back and I'm actually going to change this back to white. I prefer this. And some of these others along the top, such as this bullet point list and the numbering library, we will speak about later in the video when we start creating these slides. So my title slide is now finished. If you want to zoom in and zoom out to your slide, you can do so using this zoom feature at the bottom. If we want to zoom in, we can click on plus. And if we want to zoom out, we can click on minus. To add a new slide to your presentation, just go up to this new slide button at the top. And if we click on the drop down menu, we can choose the style of the slide that we want to add. For this next slide, I want to add in the first president of the United States. So I think this section header is going to look the best. Let's click on this and add this in. Now in here, it's going to ask me to add a title. However, I don't really want to add a title to this. Instead, I would rather add a picture of George Washington. So if you want to delete a text box, then all you have to do is click into this, click on this line along the side, and then we can click on delete. And that text box is now going to be deleted. We can add a lot of things in to Microsoft's PowerPoint. To do this, we go up to insert, and these are all of the different things that we can add. We can add a text box if we want to add some text into here. So we can just drag that along and now we can start typing. We can add a table, we can add images, we can add videos, audio, we can draw shapes, stock images. We can add icons if you want to add like a smiley face. And then we also have smart art right here if you want to add like a mind map. However, we are going to add an image right here. So we can go to images. Then we can choose from this device and then we can choose the image that we would like to upload. I'm going to upload this image of George Washington on Mount Rushmore. And then once the image is in, we can basically drag this around and choose where we want to add this to the presentation. So I'm going to drag this right here. And then to make this bigger or smaller, we use these dots along the side. So we can drag this out to make it bigger or drag this in to make it smaller. Perfect. Then I'm going to go to this text box and add the name George Washington. And underneath, I'm going to say first president of the United States. Perfect. Now this George Washington, this text right here, I want to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to specifically highlight George Washington. Then let's choose the text size. Let's set this to 32. Perfect. At this stage, we can either leave this as it is, or we can go into the designer on this right hand side and see if there's any other formats that we would prefer. If there is, then I can simply select this and it's going to keep my text the same, but basically reformat this. If you make a mistake or you want to go back at any time, like in this example, I want to go back to the old layout. So all we have to do is click on this undo button in the top left corner, and that's going to undo the changes that we made. From here, we can also go up to design along the top, and this is where we can choose the design of each slide. So this is different to the designer. This is basically going to scan what you have and then give you a design. Whereas this designer is just going to choose the overall theme of the presentation. So we can click from any of these options and choose from one of these. Let's say, for example, we want to go with this design and that's going to pop in right there. Oftentimes you will find that designs are going to change the format of your slide. So just keep that in mind when you are moving around and changing these designs. Let's go back home and click on this undo button to get back. And now I have my original slide that I created. Let's create a new slide. And in this slide, I'm going to show the biggest companies in the United States. So let's go back up to new slide, click on this drop down menu. And then the best option for this is probably going to be title and content. So let's click on this. We can then go in here and add a title. And in here, I'm going to say the most profitable companies in the United States. This text is a little bit too far down. So if I want to rearrange where the text is, then all I have to do is go to the text box, go to these lines on the side until this kind of like arrow thing appears right here. And then we can move this up, down, or anywhere else on the slide that we like. As you can see, when I snap it to certain sections, we are going to be given this line on the screen. This shows the center of the PowerPoint. So right here, I can see this is the center going long ways. And then if I move down, this is the center going sideways. So we can snap that there, and that's the exact middle of the presentation. But let's move this all the way up to the top. 
And what we can also do is using this top section, we can align the text. So if I highlight my text right here, then go up to the top, we can see alignment. And I want this to align in the center. So I'm going to select center. And as you can see, that is now aligned in the center. We can also align text to the left or the right, but I'm going to leave this in the center. Now let's go ahead and fill out these companies that are the most profitable. We could either just go in here and start typing these out. So number one is going to be Apple. We could type this in right here and then show how much they made. So 94.68 billion. And then we could go down and choose the next company. So we can start typing that out. However, a much better way to do this is by using this numbering library. So we can either select this from the start, just like this, and then start typing things out. And as we go down, it will automatically populate. Or if we already have some text in here, then all we need to do is highlight this, select the numbering library. And as you can see, that's going to pop in right there. Then we can go third and choose the third company, which is going to be Alphabet at $76 billion and so on and so forth. So that is how you can use this numbering section. We can also go down and choose how these are numbered. So right now we have this point next to it, but we can choose like a bracket. We can even choose to do this alphabetically. So if we go up here and choose like ABC, we can have that right there. Or we can set this to be a multi-level list. Alternatively, we can go for this bullet point list right here and set this to be a bullet point list instead of the numerical list that is shown right there. So this looks okay, but it's definitely not special and probably not even presentation worthy. Let's see what the designer has to say about this. We can open this up and beautiful. Look at all these design templates that it's giving us. This one looks fantastic. Let's click on this. And it's now going to autofill this with all of these different icons. It's going to keep the text the same. And that looks so much better and so much more presentation worthy. PowerPoint also allows you to draw on the presentation. This is not a tool that I often use, but we can draw if we want. We could just select the pen icon and then we can go ahead and use the mouse to draw on the presentation, whatever we want to draw. Let's go back to home and undo all of this because that looks terrible right now. But that is how this draw section works. We can highlight certain elements right here. We can use the ruler and drag this in. So we have the ruler right here. So we can set the rotation. I'll try to get this to zero. There we go. And then if we want to underline something, we can set that right here. Grab the pen icon. And now if I drag this under, you can see it's going to make this perfect straight line. So we can drag this in, we can then deselect the ruler. And just like that, we have a perfectly drawn line. Another very important part to PowerPoint is going to be transitions and animations. This is where we can take our slide. And if we present this from being just a standard slideshow where we can flick along and it's just going to take us to the next screen to adding transitions and effects between these. To do this, we just go up to transitions and then we can choose a transition for each slide. So I'm going to select this second slide and then we can choose how we want this slide to come in. We can click on this drop down menu and these are all of the transitions that we can choose from. Let's go for curtains. Once you have selected your transition, we can click on preview and it's going to show how this is going to look. That looks okay, but maybe a little bit too much. Let's try more. That looks a little bit better, but still not something that I'm happy with. Let's try this vortex right here. Once again, we can click on preview. Perfect. Now that's exactly what I'm looking for. We can also go into the options right here and choose how this effect is going to come in from the left, from the top, from the right or from the bottom. And we can also choose the duration right here, how long this effect lasts for. From here, we can then go down to the next slide and we can choose a new transition for this to come in. Or alternatively, we can go to the slide that already has an animation and just apply this to all of the slides. However, that's pretty boring. So I'm going to go for a new one right here. Let's try Fracture and view this. Awesome. I like that as well. So we now have transitions on both of these slides, as we can see right here by this icon. Next, let's talk about animations. Now animations, instead of being going from slide to slide, this is how you can get your text and images to appear in a cool way. So once again, let's select this image. And as you can see in the animation tab, this is now going to light up and let us choose from any of these animations. Once again, we can choose one of these, for example, fly in. 
We can then preview this and see how this is going to look. Awesome. We can then exit the preview and once again choose the options where this is going to come in from. So just there, it came in from the bottom, but I can choose from the left. Preview this. And let's see how this is going to look. Perfect. We can also do the same for text right here. So if I click on this text, let's choose how we want this text to appear. I'm once again going to go for fly in, but this time I'm going to set this to fly in from the right. Now that is all set up, let's preview this once again. And this is how the slide is going to look. We have this flying in from the left and then these two flying in from the right. Awesome. Now our presentation is really starting to come along and look a lot more professional. Let's now go back to the top slide. Go to present up here. This is how we take it from the editing section into the actual presentation section. So we can click on this. And this is how our presentation is now going to look. Awesome. I really like that. From here, we can now go through. And the first thing that we are going to do is change the name of this. So by default, this is called presentation one, but to change the name, we just go up to this top left corner and let's change this to United States presentation. We can also choose whereabouts this is going to be saved. So we can click right here and then choose where we want to save this. I'm going to leave this where it is. In the file section, this is where we can choose where we want this presentation to either be exported or shared. For example, I can go down to share right here. And if I want to share my presentation with other people, I can click on share with people and then enter in the email address that I want to share this to. I'm going to choose this email right here. Then we can also choose if we want to add a note. We can also choose the person's permissions. So whether they can edit and make any changes, whether they can just view this and they can't make changes or whether they can't download this so they can view, but they can't download. I'm just going to leave this as can edit and then send. And then once that email is sent, the person that you sent this to is going to receive an email that looks like this. So they can just go ahead and open this right here. The final thing that we can do is go to file right here, then save as, and we can choose how we want to export this. So we can download this as a PowerPoint copy on your computer. We can download this as a PDF. If you download it as anything else other than a copy, then the animations and transitions are going to be taken out. So just keep that in mind. But we can go download a copy and then we can download this, allow. And I now have this saved on my computer. So that is my complete PowerPoint tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.